Now, I don't often or usually do rum, but one of my customers and I, I've had him quite regularly, and we would talk about whiskey and tasting whiskey and the whiskey festival, and he thought, well, he would get me some rum. So he got me this Flor de Caña Gran Reserva, seven-year-old rum. It's a little sample. It's a plastic bottle. And so I'm going to give it a try. He also gave me some uh, Hennessy Cognac, which Lisa and I tried, but it didn't work out too well. <laughs> so that one, the, the, the Cognac was gone and the video was terrible, so we didn't put it up. So here I am, by myself, trying this rum. That's maybe a good thing, because if somebody was with me, there wouldn't be enough to go around. This is just a little sample. 50 mils, I believe. That's a little less than 50 mils, I think. Well, maybe it is 50 mils. Anyways, whatever. I'll just put this sideways so that it will drain. Have a sip of nice cold water. <laughs> it's nice when the cold water was in a bottle that previously contained one of my uh, infinity blends. And this was um, the island blend including things like Aaron and Highland Park and um, Lag and Jura and uh, Blechag, a whole bunch of things. And half of them were peated, so it has a nice nice light taste of Island peated scotch. Okay, and here we got the rum. The rum is bottled at probably 40%, but it's so small here. It's so small that I have to get up close to the light here. And it looks like 40%. Maybe it's 42%. It's still hard to read it. I hate when they make labels so small you can't read them. Maybe I should get bigger glasses. And a bigger magnifying glass, too. All right. Right away... I'm getting sugar cane. Sugar cane and some wood. It's probably oak. Is it an ex bourbon oak? I don't believe it's a uh, I don't believe it's a, a, a virgin oak, otherwise it would be stronger. But I do get sweet and sugar cane. I don't believe there's any molasses in this one. Or I don't believe this is distilled from molasses. Well, there's a bunch of more writing on it and it's so small. Distilled, aged, and bottled under License something 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 product of Nicaragua. <laughs> okay, <laughs> product of Nicaragua. I don't believe I've ever had anything from Nicaragua. Smells nice and sweet and 
sugar caney, vegetable. I like the nose on this, but I'm no expert on rum, so what do I know? My customer assured me that it's really good. He likes it a lot. And just out of the blue one day, he realized it was me coming to get him, and he just pulled this out of his pocket and said, here you go. Enjoy, he said. He says, it's really good rum. He says, I got into this rum. It's really good. You got to try it. So here we are. Having a sample. And if I like it enough, maybe I'll even get a bottle. Oh. Oh, this is something good. Already it's something good, but that's just the first, first sip. It's sweet, but not too sweet. It's not too sweet, it's just right. It's a little dry. And it's just delicious. I never thought. Now, now it smells a little bit buttery. Rum and butter. Wow, this is nice. This is very nice. This is probably the best rum I've ever had. Or should I say the most to my taste rum that I have ever had. Oh, and it has a wonderful long finish. It's sweet and yeah, sugar caney and but not too sweet. It's just right, just the right amount. And it's dry and long lasting finish. It just hangs on and hangs on. Wow. This is rather nice. A rather nice way to start my evening. And uh, the next three videos that I will record are probably The videos that went up a week ago <laughs> during the week uh, my schedule is all mixed up now because I had a whiskey festival and uh, I would normally put do four whiskey videos so Monday Wednesday Friday and the following Monday then I would do the next week uh, Wednesday, Friday, and then Monday, Wednesday. And then the following week, I do Friday, and then a Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And then the fourth week, I would do four sample Sundays. But the schedule is all thrown off right now. So uh, I will get back to that eventually. There's another whiskey festival in about a month, uh, which I will be going to, and it will take uh, my weekend away, or maybe... Maybe I can uh, taste some whiskey in the evening and the following afternoon go to the whiskey festival. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. So anyway, enough of that. It, it only makes sense to me, okay? Uh, it doesn't make sense to anyone else. But I... I really enjoy this. It has a nice, smooth mouthfeel, but then it has that finish that 
that dry, semi-sweet finish. It tastes like sugar cane. Mm. My customer was right. This is really nice. And I don't usually say that about rum. I guess most of the rum that I've had is the low quality stuff, is the stuff that that doesn't have an age statement and that uh, is made from sugar, sugar cane and had sugar added to it. But this, this is really something nice. Really nice. Yep, I like it. Even it still smells nice. Smells nice, tastes great, has a wonderful dry, long finish, tasting of sugar cane. Mm. And I guess it's used barrels that they used to age this. There is a tiny little bit of vanilla. And maybe a bit of caramel. And that's what I'm getting now on the nose after having tasted it. That's probably from the barrel. Yeah, I get it now, but I did not get it at first. At first, I was just getting sugar cane on the nose. Sugar cane and semi-sweetness. Now, I'm definitely getting vanilla and caramel from a used, from an ex-bourbon barrel. I don't know if it's first fill or second fill or but it's definitely a used barrel. It's not virgin oak. Uh -uh. Oh, once again the taste. Now I'm getting a bit of the vanilla and the caramel on the palate before I swallow it. After I swallow it, all I get is that long rum finish, that sugar cane rum finish. Mm. Not at all bad. If all rum tasted like this, I would have been drinking more rum in the past. Yeah. Salud. Food quick. 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 Food quick.